Good morning guys, I'm Dat Pinoy Nurse. Welcome to Nursing Informatics, Computer System, and Computer Hardware. So computer system is a system of interconnected computers that share a central storage system and various peripheral devices such as printers, scanners, or routers. So we have storage devices, central processing units, input and output devices. So let's identify. So we have here a diagram which uh, we have computers, servers, cell phones, smartphones, telephone, which can consist of a computer system. Now, computer hardware. Hardware is the general term for the physical artifact of technology. So physical meaning it is, it can be, uh, you can hold it and uh, it is mainly used uh, as uh, the animate object of computers. So a little bit of history. So since you have already finished your living in the IT era, so I know that this information is not new to you. So we have first generation computers, they use vacuums, then these vacuums are rather hot and thus require great cooling. So since it is easily uh, heated, so they uh, regularly fail. And so the first generation uh, computers are very huge, but the power was less than an average desktop of the 1900s. So second generation computers, so instead of vacuum tubes, they uh, use transistors. So they have, uh, mo they are more uh, reliable and have greater speed and uh, can conduct less heat. So the second generation CPU access speed were measured in a million rather than a thousand of the second or microsecond. Thus, uh, they are still quite large, but transistors were smaller and more durable than vacuum tubes. So they are also uh, allowed for the development of much more powerful computers. So the third generation, so uh, they use a micro miniature solid state components. So third generation CPU access speed were measured of a billionth of a second or nanosecond. As you can see, as the generation goes by, the power of the computer increases. So we have the three types of classes of computers. We have analog, digital, and hybrid computers. So analog computers operate on continuous physical and electrical magnitudes, measuring ongoing continuous analog quantities such as voltage, current, current, temperature, and pressure. So next we have digital computers. This is the common one. Operates on discrete discontinuous numerical digits using the binary number system. Uh, it represents data using discrete values for all data. Next, we have hybrid computers. As its name implies, contains features of both the analog and the digital computer. It is used specific applications such complex signals processing and other engineering oriented applications. So for us mainly, I think we are using digital computers. So we have type of computers. We have uh, supercomputers, mainframes, microcomputers, and handheld uh, computers. So let's start with supercomputers. This is a computational-oriented computer specifically designed for scientific application requiring gigantic amount of calculations. Okay, so supercomputers, the main function is to calculate large amount of data, usually for scientific purposes. Mainframes. This is the fastest, largest, and most expensive type of computer used uh, for processing, storing, and retrieving data, uh, the computing needs. So mainframes usually, uh, especially in the, the internet, uses mainframes to, to store and uh, to process data. Okay, So microcomputers or personal computers, this is the common one or commonly used desktop can serve a standalone workstation and can be linked to a network system to increase its capabilities. So like our computers, we can use it and uh, with network or the internet like uh, LAN or the WAN, uh, we can increase the capability through uh, con uh, being connected through the internet. Next, we have handheld computers, the smaller size than standard desktop microcomputers. So some have claimed to have almost the same function and processing capabilities as the standard desktop microcomputer. So handheld, uh, meaning it's much more smaller than your desktop. So computer hardware fundamentals. We have the central processing unit or the CPU or the brain of the computer. So 
contrary to the uh, common knowledge of people, uh, CPU is not the box beside your monitor. It's not the black box, but it is the small uh, chip inside your motherboard. So the motherboard is a main printed circuit board, uh, PCB, uh, found in computers and other expanded system. It holds many of the crucial electronic components of the system, such as the CPU and memory and provides connector for other peripherals. So let's take a look. So this is an example of a motherboard. So as you can see, so we have the CPU goes here. So it's, this is the slot for the CPU. We have the RAM slot, 8-pin connector. We have the front panel audio connector and etc. Okay. So storage devices. So we have uh, read-only memory or the ROM is permanent. It remains when power is off. Example, startup instructions for computer is an example of the uh, read-only memory. So next we have the random access memory or the RAM is a temporary storage area for program instructions and data that is being processed. It is only active when the computer is on. So this, these two are the primary uh, memory. So if you want your computer to run fast, the uh, most uh, common thing to do is increase your RAM because with greater uh, memory, it can process much uh, greater data when the computer is on. But it is not only uh, the RAM factor that contributes to the computer speed. We have secondary memory, we have floppy disk, hard disk, uh, we have CD-ROM, USB flash drive, and memory cards. Okay. Input devices are used to enter data. Example, trackball, joystick, mouse, keyboard, modem, stylus, touchscreen, light pens, microphone scanners, and barcode readers. So input devices, they are used to enter the data. We have output devices used to visualize and hear or process, uh, hear process data. Example, video monitor, uh, screen, speaker, fax, and printer. Here's an example of input devices of your computer. We have the camera, touch screen, uh, we have scanners, microphones, joystick, webcam, trackball, keyboard, and mouse. Okay. Then these are the output devices on your computer. We have the headphones, the speakers that release the, the audio monitor for the visualization. We have a projector. Uh, we have the printer and the plotter, so it will uh, send out images. Okay, print out images. So these are the output devices of your computer. So we have network. Uh, this allows the sharing of computer and software resources through the use of network. For example, several computers may share one computer or a word processing program could also be accessed by many uh, users. So we have uh, types of network. We have the LAN and the WAN. LAN meaning local area network, networks within a area location or business the university connects all its computer on the LAN most commonly when we talk about LAN we have a uh, a wire okay the since we are in a local area we are near each other so we can connect using a uh, wire okay but a wide area network or the one uh, we have several LAN connected together or uh, sometimes because of uh, the wideness of the area, uh, one uses uh, a Wi-Fi, okay. a Wi-Fi connection. So we have here an example, uh, local area network. So we have a router connected to laptop PCs and servers. So wide area network or one. So we have example the internet. So example a campus like your campus if you have a, a online campus or Wi-Fi in your campus so it's a big area so anywhere in the campus you can connect connect to the internet but if you are using uh, your information or informatics office or laboratory such as your computers you need to go to that office because the computers are connected via LAN or local area network to the uh, main server 
Okay, so that's it for this presentation, the computer system and hard, uh, computer hardware. So this the references, uh, especially computer and nursing and computer system retrieved from a slide share. So that's it for this slide. Uh, thank you. Always stay interest, interested. I'm that Pinoy nurse and uh, God bless.